A lot of people are intimidated about grilling fish, but it's actually not that hard, and I'm gonna show you three ways to achieve awesome results every time. The first is in a steamer packet, the second is on a cedar plank, and the third is on a bed of lemons. I've actually made a nice compound butter of my favorite herbs, so just use what you have on hand. A compound butter is just butter mixed with herbs, garlic, spices, whatever you wanna add, sea salt. Put it on the fish. So I've got it on my in my steamer packet with some herbs. I'm gonna throw this on direct. I'm going to take my cedar planked mahi. Now keep in mind a cedar plank needs to be soaked 30 minutes before you throw it on the grill. And this is going to go on indirect and it's going to smoke this fish, which is gonna give it awesome flavor. And last but not least, I'm going to grill the fish on a bed of lemons. So the lemons are actually gonna go on direct heat and form a barrier for the fish. And you can see I've got a nice dab of butter. Can't go wrong with butter on this fish. So today I'm cooking with mahi, which is really abundant in Florida. I recommend using whatever's local to you, whatever you feel comfortable cooking and eating. I always try to buy wild caught, of course. And you know, mahi is a white flaky fish, so a no brainer to cook with. So let's go ahead and check our temperature on this fish. And it looks like my fish on direct is just about there. So for fish, you're gonna look for an internal temperature of 145 degrees. And check me out, we are there. And of course, indirect is always gonna take a little longer. So we'll let that do its thing. I'm going to assume that the steamer packet's there as well because it's also on direct at the same time. So now we can pull this stuff off the grill and get ready to have some fish for dinner. And last but not least, we're gonna let this cedar planked mahi go for a little bit longer. Anything on indirect is a little more slow and low and is always gonna take a little longer. So give it a couple more minutes and check the internal temperature and you will have fish three ways. Okay, so let's check on our cedar planked mahi. It looks like it's done. But let's just double check. There we go. 142, we want 145. It will continue to come up to temp after you pull it off. So we are good to go, you guys. Fish three ways. We've got fish on a bed of lemons, cedar planked mahi, our steamer packet fish. And there you have it. We've got fish three ways. So now you don't have to be intimidated by grilling fish. It's actually pretty easy and it's a great way to eat a very lean protein that's so good for you and really flavorful done on the grill. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I'll see you in my next video teaching you how to master the basics of grilling. In the meantime, go to grillgirl.com for all kinds of recipe inspiration on the grill.